Well, hello there. So I'm back. And uh, today I wanted to show you uh, a video kind of explaining the difference between 9 volt and 18 volt. I mean, obviously there's 9 volts worth of difference, but I really kind of want to tailor that more to what's the difference in sound? Like, is it really going to make that big of a difference? Uh, short answer, sometimes, but not always. Uh, basically gives you more headroom, sometimes a little less clipping or what can sound like a little bit less distortion, depending on what type of circuit it is. Uh, other pedals you really don't notice a whole lot with. We'll run through just a couple of them so you can kind of get an idea. I've got two power supplies set up, one an 18 volt DC, the other one a 9 volt DC. Right now on the Clarksdale I have a 9 volt DC going into it with uh, my Paul Reed Smith that I'm actually kind of growing to love this thing actually. So anyways, here we go playing through uh, Bravado, Bravado amp, and uh, sounds like this. And let's turn on the Clarksdale. Uh, this is with nine volts. Ooh, that was horrible. I totally missed that. That is with nine volts. So uh, let's put uh, let's put eighteen volts on it. See what happens. So here's the dealio. Here's my nine volt plug here. This cable here got some little markings on it, and uh, probably hard to see in that camera. But anyways, this is my eighteen volt adapter. So let's plug that right in. See what the difference is. Alrighty, and now we have eighteen volt DC going to the Clarksdale. Turn it on, same exact settings. Not a whole lot of difference. Um, kind of a, a cool thing we can do real quick so you can hear like a real quick AB comparison. Yeah, since I have a battery in this Clarksdale, I can just pull that plug out and it'll revert to nine volts and we can hear the difference really quick. I had my tone knob set down a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep that about where it was because I accidentally moved it a smidge. All right, 18 volts. <laughs> So I would say, honestly, it's probably a little bit more ballsy, for lack of a better word, with 18 volts. A little bit. It's not a gigantic, huge, monstrous difference, but it is a little bit different. So, uh, yeah, all right, so on to the next one. That's the Clarksdale. Uh, another question I get all the time is about running the Ego compressor at eight, uh, 18 volts versus uh, 9 volts. So let's try that one next. All right then, so we have the Eagle Compressor at nine volts. Using the battery inside this one as well. Um, I have a bit of exaggerated settings, so I got the, the uh, sustain up pretty much all the way. I did put the blend back on about half, so here we go. On the, uh, by the way, I'm uh, on the split, the split setting, so it's not the, the humbucker, it's the split coil. Let's put the 18 volt cable right into it. Same thing. It's going to take it just for a second for the capacitors to charge inside of it. Here we go.
going to uh, let's turn this all the, this blend all the way up. Um, let's keep the attack about in the middle, and let's try that setting. That's a real, really compressed, really limited signal. Uh, nine volts here. Put the old 18 volt cable into it. All right, so to my ear, it is a little bit louder, a little bit cleaner. Uh, again, more headroom, so it is going to be a little bit cleaner. Kind of a cool sound. I would, I would use that. That's, that's cool. All right, uh, let's do something quite a bit different. I think, anyways. Uh, let's try the ethereal delay reverb. Um, really going to kind of focus more on the delay because I think you can kind of hear the difference in that a little bit more. Um, but let's try it both at 18 and both at 9. All right, the ethereal at, it says nine volts. So let's, uh, I got the mix cranked up quite a bit uh, just to kind of exaggerate those settings, so. And let's plug, let's plug the 18 volt. I don't have a battery in this one, unfortunately. So, you know, uh, gotta go with the cable on this one. Sorry. All right, same settings, 18 volts. Not a whole lot of difference going on. A um, little bit cleaner maybe, but not dramatically. So not a big change in that one per se. But uh, there are some pedals, I have to go grab it in a second. There are some pedals that do have a much bigger difference, maybe for the worse. And that really depends on what the circuit is biased at. So let's take uh, our 30 something, for example. It's got an NPN transistor type booster on it. And whenever you plug 18 volts in that, it kind of messes with the bias. It doesn't break it. It just is out of bias, basically. So it's not going to work as expected. So uh, let me show you what that sounds like. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the 30-something. So the right side is kind of a Range Master style boost. Uh, it's NPN transistor boost. And I don't have it boosted up quite a bit, just a little bit over Unity. And here's what we have. Split coil. And now, of course, we have to plug into the 18 volt, right? Because that's what the whole comparison is kind of about, you know? So, all right, here we go. Uh, no settings have changed. This is just simply 18 volts. Yeah, it's not biased to work at 18 volts, so you're not going to hurt it. It does say 9 to 18 because on the other side, not really a big deal. But it's so it's not going to hurt it. It's just not optimal. But Here's a little trick. If you want to run another booster into that, it gets a really gnarly Velcro type fuzz and it kind of sputters and it's just kind of nasty. So it's kind of a fun thing to do. So let's uh, let's simulate that real quick, just for fun. It has nothing to do with eight, eight or nine volt or 18 volt, but 
don't know, be fun to do. All right, so i uh, got the 30-something plugged into uh, a decibel plus, which is the same thing as our DB plus. For the most part, it's an op amp based circuit, uh, just a booster and a buffer. So got it cranked all the way up and um, had to turn the boost down just a little bit because it was really starting to drive the amp. Mm, I really wanted to show the pedal being driven. So uh, let's go for that right now. kind of gives you sort of a kind of a fuzzy thing with the gate type of action on it so it's cool so anyways hope you enjoyed the video uh really appreciate comments and and, and everything down below so please comment uh like the video if you like it if you're subscribed make sure you like you click the little bell at the top and click get notifications or else you won't get notifications for the most part unless youtube thinks that you want to see the video uh, appreciate each and every one of you and uh again thanks for the comments like i I agree. I definitely needed to dye my eyebrows. So, uh, thanks so much. Uh, have a great week. We'll see you next video in a couple days. Later.